All right. Good morning. Good morning. How's everyone doing? It is Friday the 13th. Whatever that means for you or any of us. Carnivore, let's see, critters, is that it? Uh, moving on, done. Done every day, get moving. But uh, ribeye, ribs, uh, let's see, ribeyes, butter, and glitter. Good morning. What's up, Doc? I'm a great, another great day in the universe. Rose, how you doing? Z, useful leader. Southern, is it easy not to eat? That's the question. Is it easy not to eat? Is the brain saying, what are you doing, right? Is not eating really important, right? Uh, but eating ultimately is the is where the brain says, uh, are you an idiot? You're trying to eat, not eat and be skinny. And the body says skinny is deadly in a famine. And likely many famines are coming. Uh, let's see. Dulce Coco, good morning. Uh, Kayla, Don, Don, Don Kane, is that it? Uh, GM Bo, GM Bebo, uh, good morning. Going, 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 going. It is a great day. Thank you to the Mighty Tribe, CNY, Dr. Kiltz, and YouTube, Facebook. The Shah, let's see, uh, Don, uh, eating the same is the easiest. I do the same thing. Routine is the road too radical and amazing. Uh, too, we're distracted in variety. I'm sorry, your wife, a girlfriend, a husband or boyfriend, or whatever you have in your life is not likely to be okay with you having variety. So I always say, narrow as an arrow will hit the target every time. Narrow, my friends, that's the very best way. And uh, I'm enjoying uh, the Oxalate uh, book on uh, toxic... Where's the book, right? Toxic Superfoods for the month. Uh, let's see. Uh, what was the silently sick is my term of all of us because we're all sick in one way, but we can't figure out the why part. And then you go to your modern doctor and they can't figure it out. So they just give you a drug or dissection or uh, or some sort of a shot or something. But uh it's crazy concepts and idea. I know. Uh, heavy cream. I do heavy cream. Uh, do my ice cream, but uh, from time to time and adding white sugar uh, only from time to time. Minimize to maximize. And uh, gratitude for life is uh, the daily, daily word. And uh, get reading the Bible, the Bhagavad Gita, the Quran, the New, the Old Testament. Ancient words of humanity. Brend, Brend. Ixur, is that it, from Florida? Uh, fit and healthy. Get moving, get lifting, get resisting. But resistance is futile, right? It's But you resist, but you got to keep pushing the resistance. And if it, you can't move it, lighten it up a little bit or go around. That's the very best way. Tyler Kramer, seven-year-old son with autism and just wondering if carnivore would help. Absolutely. Uh, Carrie Rivera and I did a uh, live uh, or just a recording. I think you can find it on the Dr. Kilt's website about autism. There's so much information that uh, autism is simply caused, in my opinion, by toxic superfoods, right? And lean meat and fish deadly. I don't do it. I was listening to Dave Osprey. Uh, and uh, he puts fish proteins at the lowest level. You got to think about amino acids, but fish is all the mercury and the toxins of the world. I don't recommend fish at all. Uh, let's see. Well, I got to say hello, pregnancy safe cosmetics. Good morning. How are you doing? A beautiful day. Ron Rodriguez, my good friend. How are you doing? We got to, we're going to do a meetup Monday, 7 30, and maybe we can get a special guest to show up. And uh, maybe we have some uh, prizes for those who comment, raise their hand, and share their story, and share their story. you got to do all of those. Esther, we're deuterium depleted today. And uh, deuterium is that heavy hydrogen that is damaging and deadly for us if we're likely consuming a bunch of plants and lean meat. That's it. you got to eat the fat. Let's see. Edmund, good morning. Your answer when Bella asked you about your biggest regrets. I made your ice cream last night. I can't wait to try it tonight. I only use three packets of sugar for three cups of heavy cream. I again, I think a little bit of white sugar is way less toxic than this thing. And we are technically omnivores, by the way. Uh, we 
focused on fatty meat. And then from time to time, we might have a berry, a seed, a fruit, maybe a vegetable, but I wouldn't touch them. And you got to focus on the fatty meat. And uh, I do my ice cream from time to time. I call it the baby's way. Bacon, eggs, butter, beef, Kiltz's ice cream, and salt. And uh, minimize to maximize and eliminate if you want to be the master class. But look at we're human beings. We drive cars. We fly airplanes. We we ride skateboards and and surfboards and and uh, and wakeboards and let's see, oh snowboards. And uh, I'm not bored, right? Uh, Lynn Cole Naff, how you doing? Does carnivore help with anxiety, and depression, mental health, I O C D, depression, anxiety, uh, manic depression, everything I've had. Carnivore is the cure, and read Judy Cho's book on Carnivore Cure. But uh, you can now on drkilts.com, you can get Kilts's book on uh, Kilts's Kilts's keto is carnivore. And Vera, what's the thing to eat every day? Fatty meat, right? That's it. Cures everything. Amazing. I say 100% of our diseases are plant based, low animal fat. You got to eat the fat, steak and butter, gal, gang, kick ass, amazing. I'm telling you, Charlotte, how you doing? Happy Friday. Feel great after getting back 100% carnivore the past week. Look at you might you might veer off the road, but you got to come back, right? You got to come back. Absolutely, not had any added sugar since August. Absolutely awesome. Again. Minimize to maximize, rarely add these things. Interesting enough, uh, Sally Norton talks about you don't want to eliminate oxalates. Uh, a little bit kind of prevents the shedding and all the problems that come with that. But I don't know. I think you could really, you could get get on with a no, no oxalate nutritional plan. Absolutely. But carnivore helps with every disease. Uh, let's see. Joni Guitar, happy Friday the 13th. My book of Sally Norton, uh, Barris D3K2, my friends. They're amazing. What did our ancestors eat? Meat. And they likely cut the gut, ate the organ meats first. So I say get some organ meats. You got to focus on those a little bit, right? Uh, tea cap recipes. How you doing? Don Crouch, how you doing? Uh, yesterday that you resolved Raynaud's on carnivore. Absolutely. Uh, carnivore by, helped with all of this. My Raynaud's, I still have a little bit of this trigger finger, but it's it's better. Like, you know, it's amazing uh, that I, when I, because I sometimes get off track because I love my chocolate, but I'm minimizing it. It's been amazing. Uh, let's see, Martin Bach, how you doing, my friend? A beautiful day. God gives all of us today right and gratitude for life and if you haven't seen my book on daily inspirations you got to check it out uh it's again we're we're fostering ways of the mind and the mind is the master that's it let's see ancestors love fat oh absolutely look at fat is the fuel for the ferrari ferraris temples lions that's what we are right we are the lion king and queens, right? But you got to master the mind first, right? The mind is the master of the road, right? Of the journey, of the trek. Is it hard? Yes, but you can do hard. I know that. Martin uh, B B Beck, is that it? Uh, wisdom every day. Ancestors love fat. Absolutely. Wisdom almighty. 69. Thanks for being here. Samantha, let's see. Had my transfer Tuesday. Uh, went to Outback Steakhouse and had a nice steak with a single salad. All right. Minimize the salad, right? Uh, salad uh, gave me food poisoning that night. I'm telling you, you're right. Look at salad is nature's toilet paper and it's already dirty. And you know what it's dirty with? You know what toilet paper is dirty with, right? Crazy concepts and ideas. Hakeem, how you doing, my friend? Again, thanks for being here. Thanks for joining all of us. Love. Uh, Dingu, avocados. My daughter would die or be very sick. Avocados and bananas. We are highly inflamed due to 
the sugars that come with the plants and they're foreign to our body. The glycans want to kill us. And uh, was it Lisa Marie uh, died of a heart attack? I suspect it's the silently sick. It will get you when you least expect it. That's that's what these sugars do. Holistic health. Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening. About uh, white sugar, toxic stuff. Again, white sugar is plant sugar, and in small amounts, it's quickly taken into the liver and converted to fat. It's the plants that contain most of the toxins and the fiber, and they fuel the microbes in the gut. Now, I'm not recommending any significance or frequency. I would say minimize and or eliminate. But my friends, honey is just white sugar. It's all plant sugars. Ultimately, it's glycans. The glycans simply go to the liver and via insulin, they're converted to fat. We are built to love sugar because sugar your body says there's a limited amount of sugar at a certain time of year in a certain place in the world. And by consuming it, we are like bears. We're going to make fat. And fat is the fuel always. That's it. Most children hate eating vegetables. You're right. I hated it. I used to put it in my pocket and I'd take it to the bathroom and i go, boop. And uh, occasionally my mom would say, Robert, what are you doing? All right, carnivore helps with everything. Uh, let's see, I ate one half of papaya this morning. Remember, a papaya is simply plant sugar. Honey is plant sugars, right? It's it's the, the bees are collecting it from the, the nectar of the flower, which is all just the, the energy that's fueling the plants. And you and I can use them and eating them in small amounts is okay from time to time. But if you're one of those addicts, right, you minimize and or eliminate. Alexandra, how you doing? Crystal, begin this journey January 1. Feel amazing. Oh, we're going to do a five-day fast, 23rd, 4th, 5th, 6th, and 7th of this month. Next month, Kilts is going to Denver for the low-carb Denver conference, the, the 20. Second, let me check the dates, make sure I'm on this. And you can go to our website at Malcolm, make sure there's a list of the conferences Kilts is going to attend this year. Let's see, 23rd, 4th, 5th, and 6th of February in Denver. Be there. Right on. Uh, again, papayas of frequency, I don't recommend. Uh, Lynn, uh, Lynn, Lynn Cole, Naf, how you doing, my friends? A beautiful, awesome, awesome an amazing day in the universe right on you guys are good this day friday the 13th i don't take any supplements martin Uh, -uh. now i sell supplements now there are some cases where some people uh mostly in the the plant-based world and the lean meat world i think adding the organ meats is good uh dr kilt's nutritional solutions we have a new a new packaging and glass bottle coming out. So excited about that. And then we have the molecular fertility for the pregnancy or pre-pregnancy for males and females and some things there that may be helpful. But if you simply go to the baby's way and you go the carnivore side, that may be all you need. And technically you may need none of the supplements at all. Let's see, be inspired every day and be fired up, right? Find something. I get on a bike. I do my weights. Uh, I, I rested in. I got to bed late last night, but I did my 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 riding and weights last night. And I did a few of my pull-ups and push-ups and sit-ups this morning. But you got to do the resistance work, right? But what your resist persists, but what you're doing is you're actually, you're pushing into the resistance. You're not just... You know, again, if it's too heavy a load, you, you can't move it. You got to find maybe lighten the load or find a way to go around it to beat it, right? That's it. A uh, pleasure to everyone. Thanks for being here. Uh, anxiety has been cut down 99%. Rib, rib, uh, rib eyes, butter, and glitter. Mine too. My energy is like through the roof. Uh, my clarity is better. My kindness, generosity, gratitude 
and and a lot of people say I'm more calm. Do you believe it? I don't know. It's my pleasure to everyone, by the way. I'm a reproductive endocrinologist, an immunologist, a nutritionist, a life coach, uh, a potter, a painter, uh, a brother, a son, a partner, and um, a life learner. Life learner. You want to be learning always in life. I I was uh, putting together, putting my new bindings, my Burton bindings on my new snowboard, uh, making sure they fit properly. And I'm really excited watching some snowboard videos because, you, you know, it's like the brain works. See, the body works in a visual way and an auditory way. And I watch videos. I watched videos to learn how to fly, fly jets and airplanes, uh, to do so many things in life. And I always love to do pottery stuff too. Let's see. Uh, anxiety gone. Mine too, my friends. Vegetables reduce cancer risk. Nil. Chaos. Uh, that's that's actually probably not true because there's a lot of bias in this. But I would say that if it does, it's because the, the, the plants contain cancer drugs. See, all the cancer drugs come from plants. But if you simply went to the to the baby's way, bacon, eggs, butter, beef, ice cream, Kiltz's ice cream without the sugar, by the way, uh, and maybe without the vanilla, it's great. I love cream, full amazing cream. But ultimately, plants are the poisons that are causing our all of our damage in life. Uh, read more about proximal tubal blockage, still on carnivore to heal. Any books you can recommend? Well, just go to drkilts.com, and we have a lot of stuff there that'll teach you on uh, on nutrition, meditation, prayer, and visualize, Victoria. My fallopian tubes are open. I'm a mom. I'm pregnant. I am fertile. Right? You gotta. You gotta. You gotta. You gotta see what you wish as if it is. That's the real magic of the universe, right? Uh, love to go, uh, but I will be at Men's Catholic Conference. Awesome, uh, awesome, Edmund. Calm as a carnivore. I am a learner, brother, son, servant, and God and lover of people. Absolutely, absolutely. All right, you got to hold on for me, guys. Hold on for me, just one second. Doctor. Doctor? I'm at work. You come and I'm online. Okay. Yeah. What time are you going to be here? Yeah, take your time. Okay, take your time. Get here safely, okay? Okay, thank you. Bye. All right. I have work this morning and the Dr. Faruqi is running it. He actually couldn't fly his airplane from Montreal. He had to drive. The weather wasn't good for us flying today. All right. Good morning, Amy. How you doing? 13 days of boiled beef. How's it going, Amy? It's uh, just boiled beef and nothing else, right? Uh, and do you use salt? Well, Amy, that's a good one. Good question. Marcy, good morning. For menopausal women, how do you fast without stressing your adrenals? Fasting actually heals our body. And so I would say a day two or three of fasting. I do it usually 23 and one. I eat one meal a day. I do a two-day fast once a week, a three-day fast once a week, once a month. I'm sorry. Two-day fast once a week, a three-day fast once a month, and a five-day fast coming up once a year, the 23rd uh, of this month. But again, you don't have to do it. And a lot of people don't measure, uh, recommend it. Sophie Clemens, Elizabeth Bright, and others may say, you don't need it, right? Uh, let's see, you rag out of fruit, but you eat sugar. Again, a little bit of sugar or fruit from time to time is okay, but a lot and frequently I don't recommend. So I'm not saying that, that sugar is good. Uh, I would say, the, the plants come from more come with more fiber, bacteria, yeast, uh, and maybe viruses, but they also come with more chemicals. Uh, minimize all of those. That's what I would do, uh, Dingu. 
Uh, but again, uh, you find your comfort zone. I'm just telling you what my comfort zone is. And I respect and honor everyone in their food choices, whether you're vegan, vegetarian, Mediterranean, pescatarian, or carnivorian. Um, all of us has to choose what we feel is right for us. But as a physician, I've seen a lot of toxicity due to plants and, and lean meat. If you look up plant poisoning and protein poisoning, it's kind of fascinating. I didn't believe all this stuff. But again, there are always going to be someone that you're going to say, well, but what about them? There's always an opposite. My grandmother, Angelina, lived 104. She smoked and drank and was a Mediterranean Italian. So that's the kind of the fun part. Is a run carnivore. How you doing? Willie, Willie Lynn, how you doing? Materialistic. Awesome. Uh, children should be eating carnivore. I believe that uh, breastfed babies and then meat-fed babies after that. All of us, uh, all humanity should be focusing on fatty meat and minimizing uh, the the use of plants. That's really the answer. It is it. Uh, faith in God is so important. So look in the mirror and see the God you are and have faith in yourself. Right, Jason? Get rid of the plants of any significance or frequency, and you will feel so much better. So much better. I know. Good morning, Marcy. How you doing? Menopause. Fasting, I think, is okay. I think you'll feel better. Focus on the fatty meat, uh, the, the brain, the thyroid, the thymus, the organs, uh, the, 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 the liver, really important. But you don't have to do all of that, by the way. I'd say just fatty meats, critical. Add some salt. Uh, butter, butter, butter makes everything better. Check out my good friend, uh, Bella Ma, uh, a steak and butter gal. But there's so many great people out there. But Occam's razor says the simple as answer is the one. Keep it simple. That's all you need to do. And check out Elizabeth Bright's book on uh, menopause for women. But menopause, menopause. Uh, ultimately, my friends, where we're, if you go mostly carnivore, fatty meat, right? Carnivore is meat-based, herbivore is plant-based, and omnivore is both of it. Those are the only three real diets in this world, right? Uh, and basically, we've been duped to focus on protein, but a protein-centric diet is deadly. Sorry, I know, it's crazy, right? Mia Moreno, how you doing this beautiful day? Rough night, end of the year after all tests, positive for COVID. ER doc told me to eat apples and oranges. Nope, don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. I just land, uh, laughed. My only concern just showed glucose. It's okay. Mia, just get some rest, some bone broth. Uh, that that You'll feel better. You got to, and don't forget the butter. So you got to suppress the microbes in the bowel. And most people don't believe this stuff, do they? Right? What are you talking about, Kilts? Glycobiology. You got to know about the glycobiome. And uh, if you look at my website on glycobiology and glycans, uh, the glycocalyx is the sugar layer that protects our skin, our mouth, our eyes, our teeth, every organ, our sperm, our eggs, our embryos, our uterus. Uh, every organ system contains a, a very rich glycobiome. And the glycobiome is the barcode. It says, it's the barcode that says, stay out, come on in. And some of those, those microbes are trying to force their way in by mimicking our own glycans. So the COVID virus basically creates some new glycans that stimulate our immune system in a way that they get in and our system is basically killing us. That's it, right? Let's see, uh, Anitra Health, how you doing? Uh, Heath, H-A-T-H. -H. Good morning, 12th day of carnivore. Awesome, Anitra. And loving how I'm feeling. Just wondering, last few mornings without food and feeling energetic and happy. Euphoric. I do. Uh, come four to five in the afternoon, I crash and get tired. I do too. I take my nap. We're lions. Do you ever see a lion being running around all day? They take naps. Naps will reset the synapse. That's it, right? 
Uh, let's see. Not hungry at all. Is that normal? Yes. 80, 80 fat 20. Yes. That's the very, very radical best. Justin and Becky uh, and the kids put together this really great collage of my sister, Marianne. Uh, Marianne, this was just before she passed at age 52 in the emergency room in, in Tulare, California. Still, she was joyous and happy. She never really complained in life, but had many, many downsides and problems. Uh, and so what I've learned in life, see, I keep pictures of those in my life that have passed to remind me every day that it's a short experience physically. It's an in, in, it's a f infinite spiritual journey, but you need to see the beauty of every day. That's it, right? It takes for the gut to heal eating this way. It'll take, well, it takes about a month to six months for, depends on how bad the damage is and whether or not it's all scar tissue left and there's no more no normal cells in some of those areas. But the colonies of bacteria and viruses that find find a, a, a hidden site all over your body, it's crazy. Strong sugar cravings, throw away anything that's related to sugar and focus on the fatty meat. And uh, I, I'm a carnivore. Keep on saying that. It takes time and practice. You'll get there, my friend. Carnivore. Carnivore. Lin, uh, Lionar. Lionar. Awesome. Uh, don't feel too terrible. Just had a serious pain in my back and arm. Pain wouldn't subside. Carnivore, 10 months. I know I'll recover quickly. Thanks. And again, those that are carnivore, fativores, have less inflammation, heal faster. Listen, the viruses, bacteria, yeast, and the microbes are everywhere. And they're mostly in the plant-based diet. But when you get to the, the meat-based nutritional way, it's a rock solid one. The proper human diet, according to Ken Berry. All right. Uh, hello again, uh, Ponto. Is there a certain amount uh, we're supposed to eat? I'm not that hungry. Now, sometimes three eggs is enough in the day and your liver pills. Uh, just curious if I should force more eating. You don't need to force more eating. Now, if you're getting too skinny, uh, then, then, then you should add more fat. And again, my liver and organ supplements through nutritional solutions, I think are valuable for those that don't want to consume the organ meats. I think they're helpful, but there's a debate in all of this world. We're all debating, aren't we? Right? That's it. Awesome. Morning, AA Tam 84. How you doing? Uh, let's see. My book right now, you can get you can get Kiltz's. All my books are on my website at drkiltz.com. This will be coming to Amazon shortly, but you can download a copy on my website, drkiltz.com or Kiltzy. Let's see. Joey uh, is the channel for you. Stop trolling, brother. Again, we're here to share ideas. Uh, yogurt. Uh, by the way, everyone's welcome. Um, I am not a fan of yogurt because I think it has too many probiotics, bacteria, and yeast. And I think it's too much sugar and not enough fat. But again, enjoy it a little bit from time to time. But a lot or often is deadly. The dose makes the poison. That's it, right? So be again, Dingu, thanks for being here to everyone. Uh, let's see, Ribeyes, where can we get your Daily Inspirations book? Uh, Daily Inspirations book on Amazon. I'm going to reformat it. I think I, I want it in color and it's too light of, 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 uh, of, uh, of print. Maybe it could be a little bolder also. We got to be bold in life, right? Bold. All right. Be uplifting. Another simple intention, right? Remember, your mind is the master of your morning, and your morning leads your life of the day. You want to start the morning up early, gratitude attitude, right? Uh, I start early in the morning. I'll, I'll lift. I'll lift the heavy weights, right? I I lighten the load by simply doing some of the heavy lifting that reminds me that. I can do it. You can do it. We're all capable. Again, no matter if you're in a wheelchair or bound to bed, the mind is the master that I am. 
And if you haven't read the book, Butterflies in the Diving Bell, to realize someone who had a stroke wrote a book by simply blinking and sharing the story of someone who transcribed their story. And your story is simply what you think it is. You change your thoughts, you change everything in the universe. That's why I believe that God is the most important thing to have faith in. And God is all of us. That's it. Your new book on Audible too. Jason, I'm going to put the new book on Audible. Uh, I probably should just read it myself. So I got to get myself moving to do the work, right? Do the work. All right. Wake up call. What is health and wellness and how do we achieve it? What if the theories and uh, hypothetical stories we tell and retell about nutrition are mostly wrong? Wow. Right. The nutritional science is basically snake oil because it's basically trying to sell us tobacco, alcohol, FTX, Bitcoin, cryptocurrency and ideas and things that you and I probably don't need. That's the craziness. Right. But nutritional science is snake oil to try to get you to be a pig, cow and a sheep. But you're a lion. Lions lead. Sheep be our feed, right? All right. Uh, uh, let's see. Uh, have your eyesight, libido, skin improved on carnivore? Absolutely, Ray, Ryan. Everything's improved. Now, I still, again, depending on the damage, you may or may not completely heal, but you're going to get some benefits someplace in your beautiful body. I know it, right? I know it, right? Let's see. Uh Again, we're feeling better every day. 12th day of carnivore, Anitra, thank you. Share your stories. Go on to drkills.com, whether it's YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, uh, CNY Fertility, the Mighty Tribe. It's all part of the journey. And I listen and learn from others in order to sort of lifetime learner. That's what we want to be, right? Bryn, how you doing, my friend? It's a very beautiful day. God, positive thoughts, steak and butter. Bingo. What more do you need? A little salt in my, my opinion, right? All right. Friday the 13th, January 2023. Let's see. My good friend, Dr. Norman Vincent Peel. I always love my daily reads. Thoughts of a kind have a natural affinity. While the negative thinker tends to draw back to himself negative results, the positive thinker activates the world around him, her, us, whatever you call yourself, in a positive way, right? You got to lead with positive. Go surfing, snowboarding, hang gliding. Go learn to fly an airplane, right? All right. Certain amount uh, we're supposed to eat. I, I don't, I don't, your, your, what you're moving in will determine the food and the feast you must eat. I say one meal a day is best. One meal every two days or three days might be even radical. If you're carrying a lot of excess fat for the famine or for the reproductive stage, again, you're not supposed to eat more than one, two meals a day. In my opinion, I say one meal, one or two snacks. That's the very best. And remember, we are lions through and through. Uh, Bryn, Mia, Jason, uh, Ryan, uh, uh, Nitsa, how you doing? Gut to heal. A month, two or three. My gut healed. But occasionally, depending on what you're consuming, you might get a little bit of something that's going to kick your ass, right? Let's see. How, uh, how we overcome strong sugar cravings. Again, you got to start focusing on the fatty meat. See, you focus on the on what you're so focus on the thing that's good for you and eliminate from your household, uh, from your environment, the alcohol, the drugs, the sugars, the plants. They're poisonous to us. That's as simple as that, right? Andrea, how you doing? Day 12 of Dr. Barry's 30-day carnivore challenge. Awesome keeping it at two meals a day and maybe one snack. Awesome. Uh, 
Uh, I've just met Dr. Barry down in Costa Rica at Reverse TV Series. Amazing, amazing young man, sharing great ideas and energy. And I think we're going to we're going to have our 30 day coming up, uh, putting it out there from the Mighty Tribe and excited about that. I think it's 30 days, $30. An investment, right? And you must invest in your health. That's so critical and important. And there's only one person that can invest in it. You. That's it. What do you think about bone broth? I love bone broth. Uh, my partner, Tia, Miss Tia, makes me a great, amazing chicken uh, bone broth uh, with all the skin and the bones and the meat and stuff extracted. And then a, a little bit of salt. Bingo. Amazing. And I do love it. I always forget it. Uh, Edmund Kenberry. Uh, get to Kenberry's uh, YouTube. Like, comment. Tell him how much you, you you heard about Barry from that Kiltsy guy, right? And uh, and that's he's amazing, amazing, amazing. And Nisha also, Bevy, how you doing, Bevy? All right, who amongst us has troubles? Live people, who doesn't? Dead people. Oh my gosh, a uh, book on glycation, Terrence. So if you go to our website, drkilts.com, you can click on some of the books. Essential, essential uh, essentials of glycobiology. This is a big one, but uh, we have some writings on our website. But the glycobiome is the most important component of your body, in my opinion. Right, Thomas, how you doing? Why do some have big pores? Uh, let's see. Probably trying to get rid of all that toxins that you've been hanging around with for so long. Let's see, uh, uh, Van F79, how you doing, my friends? Overcome sugar cravings, eliminate, right? Eliminate to elevate, and, and you got to be the master of your life. You are the temple, the Ferrari, the lion, not the pig, not the amusement park, and not the Yugo, right? Which one are you? So simple. Uh, my trigger finger on my foot, some, uh, my trigger finger also, uh, BD3K2, it gets me. But I'm telling you, it's better. The more I fast, the more I focus on fatty meat, and the less I touch any plant products. Uh, from time to time, I minimize because I get my Kiltz's ice cream with a little bit of vanilla bean and a little bit of white sugar. But that's from time to time. My good friend, Dennis Ford, who was one of the guests at the uh, Reverse TV series for Carnivore down in Costa Rica, he was making some of Kiltz's ice cream, but he's already lost a significant amount of extra poundage. Remember, you're not losing, you're not losing muscle. Your muscles are there. And if you're 300 pounds, you got to see the beautiful bone and muscle structure deep within you. The fat, you're carrying around an extra 100 to 200 pounds in some cases, right? That means you're strong as heck. The cause of disease is not fat. This is it, right? Uh, Melon Stack, how you doing? Did I pronounce it cor correctly? Thanks to CNY and your guidance to switch to carnivore. Carnivore during pregnancy is a must. We're going to put out our new book on the baby's way. I'm excited about that. It's all about making babies. Bacon, eggs, butter, beef, Kiltz's ice cream, and salt, intermittently feasting, and eat less frequently. That's the critical part. And all the plants, oh, my God, they want to make us fertilizer. It's as simple as that, right? So simple. Occam's razor says the simple answer is the one. Uh, esophageal cancer. Should I explore him to try carnivore? Fasting and carnivore. Absolutely, Edmund. Again, my good friend Craig Humphrey, I have I have re, uh, reminders of my friends who have passed, I believe, earlier than we would think. Uh, and, and all of it I see is from a plant-based, low animal fat diet. Vegans, vegetarians, and Mediterraneans, and pescatarians. Again, you got to eat the fatty meat, and I believe the ruminant meats. But uh, Dave Osprey says ostrich meat. I love duck meat. Uh, I'm not a chicken fan unless it's really, really, you get all that, the grease from the pan. You got to get the grease from the pan, right? Best source of fat is animal fat. That's really it. 
And I don't think grass-fed, grain-fed matters so much. Remember, you're either grass-fed, grass-finished, or grain-finished. All the ruminant animals are primarily raised on grass, but then they finish them either with, with grass or with grains. I love the fatty stuff that you get better. Trigger finger. I got a little bit of it, but it's so much better. The inflammation goes down and I'm able to do more. And then I'm able to, let's see if I got a little bit of this in, in my, in my armamentarium today. Oh, uh, let's see. Melon. And yes, when you're pregnant, stay carnivore. Stay carnivore for life when you're pregnant, pre-pregnancy, after pregnancy, breastfeeding, stay carnivore, and fruit, fiber, vegetables, seeds, and nuts, and alcohol is deadly for us of any frequency or significance. Honey, I, it's not good. <laughs> Valerie Lynn, yes. Osteoporosis. It's all caused by a plant-based diet, the chelation, the oxalates, the phytates, the lectins. They're basically damaging our, our, our uh, osteoblasts and osteoclasts, right? Blast build class uh, will, will take it down. So ultimately, the diseases are from a plant-based. Uh, even, even though Sally Norton focuses on oxalates, there are many more poisons in plants than you and I know. They don't want to be eaten. And carnivore is the ultimate cleansing diet. Carnivores we be, and all I see is lions that lead. Sheep be the feed, lions do lead. Thomas Kaelin, what about acne? Again, acne is fueled by sugars in plants, and ultimately you're marinating your body and all your cells in sugar. Sugar crosses the, the plasma membranes without having a transporter all day long. So we're marinating in sugar. We're a culture dish that the bacteria, yeast, and viruses love. And so they get on our skin, they get into our, into our, into our GI tract, they get into our body and ultimately they're having a fun day at the amusement park because as long as you go to the amusement park and you're putting plants in your mouth, you're feeding the microbes that ultimately are killing us. And if you read James Henry Salisbury's book on alimentation and all disease, it's all caused by a plant-based low animal fat diet. Done, right? Uh, carnivore, Guillaume Berets, everything. Listen, you may have already too much damage. Don't know that. All right. What what happened to our, our mighty tribe? Uh, I don't know. I'm, my, for some reason, the mighty tribe lost uh, the feed at sea. The feed and the seed. If I shut it down and bring it back, will it fix? All right. Let's see. Trigger finger on my foot sometimes. Again, it's going to heal. It's going to heal. It's going to heal. Or I am healed. I am healed. I am healed. That's it. Uh, absolutely changed my life in the best ways. My pleasure. My pleasure. When am I doing carnivore long enough? Acting will go away. Absolutely. But you must add fat. You want to be at least a one-to-one -one fat to protein, if not a two-to-one fat to protein, or a three-to-one uh, three to one fat to protein, and eat less frequently. The microbiome loves proteins and loves sugars. A high-protein, low-animal fat diet puts you in the dead category too fast. Faith Ka, good morning. How you doing? Trigger fingers. Lulu Keto, how you doing? Josh. Awesome morning, Bevy. I got troubles. Let's see what size T-shirt does Kilty wear? Small. You know, I, I you know, when you get to sixty-seven, you kind of like, wow, I'm sixty-seven. Listen, I did not believe what I'm telling you fifteen, twenty years ago, right? But 
I began to watch others, uh, Robert Atkins, uh, and 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 then Maria Emmerich, uh, and then Kiltsey went carnivore twelve years ago, and and I've never looked back. Fast and easy, and boy, my meals are boring. I eat a ribeye steak from Snake River Farms uh, every day, right? Uh, it's amazing. Or Austin, uh, let's see. Oh my God, my brain, my brain, my brain, my brain. So many good, good purveyors of meat out there. Let's see. I got this. I got this. And thanks so much for being here, everyone. Uh, let's see. Got, got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. We are, we are living life large, all of us. And you are the master of your life. No one else is. If you're blaming anyone else for your troubles, my friends, you're missing the point. Your troubles are the treasures for your masterful life. That's it, right? Uh, good morning, Faith Thomas. Carnivore long enough, acne will go away. Remember, when you're feeding, uh, what you put in the mouth basically distributes everywhere. You ever notice people who eat onions and garlic smell the next day or two? because it goes everywhere. I'm sorry, uh, you don't need a transporter to get across the cell membrane. Most of it just diffuses across the cell membranes. The, the phospholipid layer is, 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 is spread and interspersed with proteins and glycans. They are critical to your survival. Prostate cancer, number three carnivore. Craig, absolutely, again. If you think about it, the bowels and the prostate live at the bottom of the bucket, right? Along with the uterus, tubes, ovaries, right? So the bottom of the bucket, I call it the gutter. The gutter basically contains, the, the gutter down at the bottom, right, is was most of the fermentation takes place in the colon. And that makes heat, gas, alcohol, and aldehydes. The bucket, you're carrying around a digester, a fermenter, that is making heat, alcohol, and aldehydes, the prostate, and it all gets into the breasts, the brain, the eyes, every, there's nothing, nothing that doesn't get damaged by simply eating the toxic plants. Oxalates are just one of the damaging. Look at Dr. Gundry's book on lectins, but lectins, oxalates, phytates, latex, glutens, and more, and then all the chemicals are in there, right? Have a great weekend, Cash. How you doing? M Cash, have a great one. Uh, thanks for being here. Uh, it's happy Friday, the 13th, another beautiful, amazing day in God's given universe, right? Let's see. Uh Atkins was Atkins was good. Yes. Atkins really was sharing something. I don't think, I don't think he went far enough because. You know, it's focusing on weight loss. Great, you lose the weight, but then people went back to their old way of eating. Deadly. That's it. He fell on the ice and hit his head, intracranial hemorrhage, right? Let's see, 67, great age. Prince Philip lived almost 100 years. Perfect health, whole life on carnivore. Eat the meat. Remember, the kings and queens controlled the hunting grounds. Uh, and they control the peasants and uh, and uh, and the, the the growing of the crops, but they didn't eat much of that. They mostly focused on the hunting, the fatty meat, the ribeye, right? Love the ribeye. Maybe we will reread Robert Atkins' books as one of our monthly reads. We're doing monthly reads now. And uh, Kiltz is going to rethink Saturday and Sundays a little bit because refocusing a little bit in 23. Uh, I'm living infinite. I'm living beyond my imagination, but I'm living today as if it's my last day doing things that are new and different, uh, flying airplanes, getting back on my snowboard, I'm writing new books. I'm sharing things on, on reverse TV, putting myself out there. But I'm a little nervous. I'm stressed out. I'm a little fearful. 
Those are all normal things to feel in your life. It's okay, right? Get into work and work works wonders on worry. And work is you're helping yourself and helping others. And it aligns up with the, the connection of all communities in the world with love and kindness. And we're praying for the, the all of the, the weapons to be put away. Give love and kindness to all of your foes out there, right? Uh, recommend sun, sun tanning every day. You don't have to do it every day. Again, from time to time, you want to get out in the sun. Uh, Dr. Uh, Barry's, uh, let's see, uh, his light room is go outside, right? Take your shirt off, right? Uh, wear the appropriate clothes that you're going to be okay in the area you're at, right? All right, my friends. It's been a great, another great, amazing day in God's universe. God is always good. Wrap, wrapped in favor. I was eating so much broccoli until my eyes were open. I'm telling you, I used to love broccoli, asparagus, kale, Brussels sprouts, but they were slowly killing kilts. And kilts was going to wind up in the as fertilizer. You see, plants are pretty smart. And we're easily duped. Bitcoin, FTX, cryptocurrency, buying things that you and I don't need. You need all the jewelry and all the fancy stuff. You don't need it, right? You might want it from time to time and enjoy it. But what you need is faith here. Fatty, fertile carnivore foods here. And you want to marinate your amazing gift of a body in doing something you're afraid to do. That's as simple as that, right? Cade uh, uh, Sacido, let's see, 75.8% of the U.S. is white. 2% of the U.S. is indigenous. I'm an indigenous over a quarter. Uh, I must breed naturally in order to prevent extinction. But if the government wants our sperm, it's 5,000 a nut. Interesting. Again, you're right. Our, our ancestral indigenous peoples have been diluted in the world. But ultimately, we're all one. And again, we're all one. And the universe is always going to spread out diversity. That's the way of the future in one way or another, right? Broccoli is deadly. Guillain Barre has helped certainly uh, with, with uh, carnivore. Go carnivore. Uh, Sid Fitz, absolutely. I know the doctor is going to say, no, wait a minute. Fat is deadly, my friends. It's deadly for the doctors because you're not going to need them anymore. And maybe these large mammoth hospitals are going to shut down, right? We're going to focus on, on an ancient way, our ancestral indigenous way of hunting for meat. Because meat makes us masters and uh, mush makes us meek. That's it. John Wilbur, how you doing? Uh, uh, start the day every day. Start the every day in a positive way. Thank you, God, Lord, creator for the day. Get on the bike, get to the rowing machine, lift the weights, right? Lift the weights. That's it. Again, have them. I have some at my desk in the office, uh, in, in my desk at home, uh, in my pottery studio. Nope. I just, I just work the clay. That's it. Uh, Cade, Europe raped and salvaged indigenous causing genocide. It was the indigenous Holocaust. At, look at, you're right, uh, but we can't fix yesterday. We can only work in this world in a loving, kind, generous way to everyone. That's what we want to do. But my bet is, is because of toxic foods that control the masses, uh, you know, it's it's kind of crazy. But yeah, it's, uh, again, how do we fix yesterday? We have to have love and kindness and generosity for everyone in the world today. And we have to have we have to have respect for people's way of living today, as long as they're not shooting bullets and firing all sorts of missiles to hurt other people. Bacon is perfectly fatty and salty. Yes, that's what I focus on. Uh, and I the, remember the nitrates in the in 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 bacon is far less than the nitrates you're going to get from plants. That's it. Let's see, uh, fighting the system over radiation for prostate cancer. Listen, the baby's way, bacon, eggs, butter, beef, a little bit of Kiltz's ice cream and salt. Listen, 
I say you got to reward yourself from time to time. It's okay. I treat. I never, never, never. Um, what's what's the word? Uh, cheat. Never. Right. Uh, let's see. Again, thank you, Cade, for your comments. Appreciate that because we can look back at our ancient past, and we were ancient hunters. Our ancestors hunted meat, ate the core, but then a few masters started feeding the masses plants, we became addicted, easily duped to sit back and do nothing. Get up off your chair, your couch, get doing something, right, Rebecca? Adding iodine, yes, a little bit of iodine, but my bet is if you're really a good carnivore, you probably don't even need that, right? All right, uh, thinking of buying a sausage making machine for optimal fat and meat. I think that's a good thing. I've been thinking the same thing, John L., uh, because I like I liked the, the burgers or the sausage. Minimize, eliminate the spices. That's really, I think, important to do. We are, we are carnivores. Bump, bump. Uh, Clueless Ones, uh, TC, Magic, how you doing? Same thing. All right. And remember... We're all going through loss, separation, divorce, uh, disease. That's the nature of the universe. You want to you wanna be grateful to God for all of it because she's in charge. I think so, right? Burn, how you doing? A cheating cycle over the holidays. Treating cycle. You treated yourself to something special because holidays are from time to time. Every day is a holy day. That I will say. That's it, right? Uh, let's see. What is the a best way to get back on the keto carnivore regime? Body is inflamed and stomach angry. Throw away all the treats. Throw them away. And focus and make sure you have plenty of fatty meat, eggs, bacon, butter, and cream. And then go at it. You see, you can't eliminate negativity. You fill the glass with positivity. And suddenly the negativity is gone, right? That's, that's the amazing part, right? There's not enough room for both of us, right? So again, if you fill your life, um, feeling the sea is the secret, right? I'm my good friend, Neville Goddard, right? The unconsciousness of sleep is the normal state of the subconscious. That's why I do my three naps a day. Because all things come from within yourself and your conception of yourself determines that which comes. You should always feel the wish fulfilled before you drop off to sleep. That's why I go through the gratitude list for all the amazing things in my life. That's it. I drink hot water, ghee, and collagen with a splash of cream. That sounds good. Let's see. Bevy, I found to, uh, let's see. I have found to stop talking about how I eat carnivore. Let's see. Uh, you know, kick some ass, give, give people something that they don't believe in, that it's opposite. They're like, oh, that's stupid. You're right. It is. And I just like, and then they're going to look at you when you're like, you're bright and your, your, your energy is amazing. You're feeling better. And they're like, like what, what is Bevy doing? Like, what are you doing? I want to do that. What drug are they taking? It's called the lion's way. That's it. Intermittent fasting. You know, again, I don't know. People talk certain times of the cycle. Maybe. Um, I'm not sure I'm convinced of the science, but certainly you know when it's time to be be sexual, right, around ovulation, right? You're probably feasting it up in the first part of the cycle. And the latter part of the cycle, you're probably resting it down. Or you might still feasting to gain the fat. So when you're pregnant, you got the fuel for the real Ferrari, which is the baby's way, right? Uh, HGH, human uh, human cardiac gonadotropin. Uh, we use it in fertility. Uh, do you need it? Is it risky? You know, they, oh my God, there's so many different conundrums and questions on all that. All right, 559, another beautiful day. What about constipation? The carnivore community always says it's not actual constipation. Um, constipation is bloating, pain, bleeding, and then you don't have to go because you're trying to force it out. But you go less frequently when you're in carnivore 
two to three times a week or less for me in some cases. Uh, my bowel bleeding, arthritis, psoriasis, kidney stones, migraines, gone. Now, I had, I had, uh, I had uh, calcific tendonitis a couple of weeks ago. I went to Dr. Uh, Dan D. Cristini, put a little cortisol and a lidocaine. I'm back. And I've been doing my, my stretching work to help on the, uh, the smaller muscle of the rotator cuff. And uh, I'm continuing to do the work to do the heavy lifted, right? Start the day with Dr. K. Thanks, Craig. Uh, Cade, Byrne, uh, Rebecca, thank you. Add a little iodine. Esther, stop to consume foods which are high in deuterium. Uh, and car, uh, CH, right on. And start to eat natural fat. Comes from animals. And healthy fats are animal fats. It's as simple as that. That's it. All right. Have an awesome, amazing day. I got to get on the phone to help those suffering from being infertile, repetitive pregnancy losses. We're here to share ideas that are radical. That's it. Intermittent fasting is just eating OMAD. That's that's what I do, Edmund. OMAD. Kilts is OMAD. Oh, is he mad? Right on. I love that. All right, everyone. God bless you. See you tomorrow morning. Uh, and we're going to, I'm working on whether Sundays are changing a little bit. I don't know, my friends. All right. God bless you. Thanks for sharing. And the Mighty Tribe, join the Mighty Tribe, our new 30 day uh, challenge. And uh, don't forget, uh, Mondays at 7 30 p.m. Eastern Time, we're going to be live on our Zoom meetup. And you join on the Mighty Tribe and you'll get the link there also. All right. Love you, brothers and sisters. God bless you. Have a great day to everyone. <clears throat> Ryan, thank you. That's, that's just kind of my last. And, and to my best friend, Chucky, out there, Jonathan Fay, to all my, uh, let's see, uh, let's see, CNN, uh, Carnivore News Network, and uh, we're rocking and rolling every single day, right? All right. Love you, Bevy. Uh, from Malaysia, Zos, thank you. Uh, in a carnivore diet, do we must be in ketosis? No, you don't have to be in ketosis. I don't weigh myself. I don't check my ketones, my urine, my breath, my blood. Listen, what did you do in your ancestral, indigenous, ancient ways? You lived life large. All right. Thanks, uh, Jania. God bless you, my friend. Love you.